Welcome back! We're at episode 5 of the Anspen vs. Archer series, and now we get to put together everything we've learned so far and move through turning in all of the different variations of Anispen vs. Archer. So first, you'll need to know the 4-petal Anispen vs. Archer flower that showed up in my third video, as well as the other direction which we covered in the fourth video. These will both definitely be necessary for this one. You'll also want to be really comfortable with turning in flowers in both directions, and as many orientations as possible. It'll be really helpful. So we'll start with the inward going down, which means it'll be the outward going up. And as we open up to the opposite side of the body, we'll fully open our shoulders. We'll bring the real arm on top of the shoulder as the anti-spin hand comes up, just like the regular flower, but we're going to turn into it. And then we'll square our shoulders back to the side, bring our real arm underneath, and then complete the pattern by coming back down. To do the other side, we'll follow the same steps, going anti-spin down, bring the real hand on top as you anti-spin upwards, and the real hand back around to the bottom as you complete the pattern. When you do the bottom pedal outward, the top pedal will be inward, so the entire pattern will be reversed. This creates tons of possible pathways that you can move through in this pattern, but we'll talk more about that in the next video. Till then, have fun spinning in circles!